100 points like once in the last 13, 14 games. And what does it say about the way you guys are moving the ball and shooting it? Well, I, look, we shot it really well tonight, and I, I thought we moved it too. I mean, Jameer with 14 assists. I, I thought we we played the game well and at a good energy level. Um, you know, I was really happy with what, uh, what we did on the offensive end tonight. Um, and, and for the most part, I didn't think we were bad defensively. We were awful defensively in the third quarter. But other than that, I thought our defense was pretty good. You know, we had one really bad quarter where, you know, we didn't guard them at all. But um, other than that, I thought our defense was pretty good also. Stan, for the second straight night, all five starters and double figures, is that a credit to Jameer, what he's been able to do the last couple games, or what? What? Well, I just think it's, you know, when we're moving and sharing the ball, the ball is moving, and we're not standing around. I mean, those have always been our better offensive games um, when we have a lot of people involved and our shots are fairly balanced. I mean, Dwight got the most shots. You know, he's our best player, but then we've got, you know, a bunch of every we've got you know five other guys between eight and twelve shots so that that's good balance it means the ball is moving and um, you know that was good and I thought some other I thought a couple of guys whose numbers and even minutes don't look huge I thought had a big impact on the game I thought Earl again I mean five rebounds in nine minutes um, his energy level is great and um, you know I think going down the stretch here where we play you know five games in the uh, last seven days. Uh, before the All-Star break, um, his minutes uh, will probably have to go up, and he's playing well. And, and Q, who doesn't look like much of anything on the uh, on the stat sheet, I thought his demeanor defensively uh, when he came in the game for Turk in the third quarter um, after Iguodala had gotten it going, I, I thought his demeanor defensively, his disposition to get into guys was good. And I thought then it translated, it got contagious to everybody else. So. I thought those guys who didn't, uh, who doesn't look like they have big numbers, had a big impact on our game tonight. You feel like you guys are, are in a rhythm offensively the way you're, you're you, a couple weeks ago you talked about not holding the ball, moving the ball, and do you feel like you're in that rhythm now? Man, I don't know. I mean, we, we continue to harp on it, work on it when we can, talk about it. Um, I think we're, I think, look, I think guys are making a conscious effort to do it and to move the ball, but I, I think we're still, you know, we're still sporadic with it. But I, you know, it's gotten better. It, 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 the guys are working at it. It's, it's an improvement. Um, we're trying, so uh, you know, it's hard to fault that. How much better do you feel about your team now after this win than you did after the loss in Philly? Is there a difference? Well, I mean, first of all, I mean, the the loss in Philly. You know, is there a difference? Yeah, well, okay, let me give you a couple differences. This wasn't our sixth game in eight nights. Um, and we're, we had both of our starting guards tonight. Those things make a difference. See, people, I mean, <laughs> you, guys act like people being hurt and stuff and out is like no big deal. Like, it's just you put a uh, name on the front of the jersey and, and that team should play really well no matter who's there. I mean, we were six game and eight nights up there with our two starting guards out. Yeah, we struggled. I mean, you know, and, and were we better tonight? Yeah, I mean, we we had practice yesterday. We're on a more normal stretch, and we had all our guys. So yeah, we were a whole lot better. Obviously, Ryan does not have a confidence issue uh, shooting shooting the three. Is this the way that you want him to come out more aggressive? Well, you know, it, no, I, I think, look, I, I don't think Ryan needs to think about getting shots. Tonight they were there, and guys made plays to him, and that's how Ryan has to play. I actually think the other night Ryan was seeking shots and didn't play as well. He took some bad ones. Tonight he took good shots. Again, you know, and I'm, I understand, I, like I am with everybody, I'm being hard on him, but I look at this, and he shot the ball great, but he played 29 and a half minutes and got two rebounds. I mean, that, that's just not, that's not good enough. That means all you're doing out there is shooting the ball, and that's not good enough. Um, you know, I mean, Jameer was able to get four. Earl got five in nine minutes. You know, he got two. That, that's not good enough. He's got to be more than a shooter. He, he's got to be able to play well, and he has at times when the shot's not dropping. He, he's a great, great shooter, and I love him. And, you know, he's got to take good shots, which he did tonight. I didn't question any of his shots tonight. They were all good. 
and he shot the ball great, and that's fabulous, and now he needs to get back on the boards. How many rebounds does a three-point shooter supposed to get? Well, I, all I know is what he's capable of doing. You know, and I know what he's capable of doing in, throughout his entire career on a per minute basis. And, you know, he's a guy that in that many minutes should be getting seven or eight boards in a night. I mean, and he's very capable of doing it. Hell, he's had nights of offensive. He's had nights where he's made five or six threes and had five offensive rebounds. When he's active, he can do it. You know, he can do it. Um, defensive rebounding, he started to drop a little bit. It's something we got to talk about on Friday. He'll go to the offensive boards, like a lot of guys, because that's a chance to score, okay? But he's got to get his defensive rebounding numbers are dropping. He's got to get on the defensive boards for us. I, I say it all the time. He's a good player. I don't mean to be in here saying negative things. I just want the guy to be striving to be a great player, not just a shooter. I mean, I think he's got the capabilities of being even better than he is. That's why I'm saying it. I mean, he's playing great, so it's not... It's not like I'm up here. I don't mean to be killing him, but I want him to expect even more of himself. Stan, do you feel like you said the guys have started to spread the wealth around? Is it a realization winning seven of nine with the wealth spread that it's starting to click in their heads, or is it something you've been harping on? Well, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, you, you never you never know reasons. I mean, that, I, I know this. When you play well, it, it's always the players. I mean, it is. And, and I don't say that, you know, trying to be self-deprecating, but it's the players. They decide, you know what, we're going to play with energy. We're going to move the ball. I'm going to scream for people. You know, they, they make that decision to play a certain way, you know. I mean, you, as a coach, you try to get points across. But when you play well like that, that's them. That has nothing to do with me. Does Jameer look... More confident to you uh, since he's come back from that concussion than he did prior to that. Well, he's playing a lot better, and so any anytime somebody plays a lot better, they have more confidence. You know, it's when things are going well, you're more confident. He's playing better. I mean, that's what you. It's sort of a that stuff's sort of a chicken or the egg question to me all the time too. Is he playing better because he has more confidence, or does he have more confidence because he's playing better? You know, I mean, it, it's a hard thing to say. The guy's just got to play with confidence. You know what? If I've missed 32 shots in a row, I mean, I make the point to my golf game all the time. No, I have no confidence when I go out there. You know why? I suck. Okay? <laughs> so I have no reason to believe that when I hit the ball, it's going to go straight. It's never gone straight before. So why the heck is it going to go straight this time? That's a confidence problem, you know, but it's also a real big problem with my swing. Okay, so I can go up there with all the confidence in the world. My swing sucks. The ball ain't gonna go straight. I mean, so I don't know if it's confidence or playing well. If I played well, I'd have more confidence. So I mean, the two go hand in hand. I don't know. You're not practicing. Oh uh, no, we're not practicing. Uh, do you have any concerns about the All-Star? Coaches are always wondering about where guys' heads are at before the before they take off. I mean. Or are there just are there too many games not to be? You know, here's the other thing. I mean, is all year long, every year, you're worried about where your guys' heads are. I mean, you know, that, that's always you never know what's going on. I mean, guys' heads could be on the All Star game, the All Star <coughs> break. Something could be going. I mean, look, something could be going on at home. You're unhappy with your playing time. I mean, you, you never know. I mean, that, that, that that's a huge challenge. But I don't have the answer to it, but it's always a challenge. Is when your minds are right, you've got a lot better chance to play well. But you know, I, I don't think it's just the the all-star break coming up and everything else. And I'm not gonna get much time to think about it, I'll tell you that. It's not like they're gonna have days in between games to think about it. I mean that, that thing's come quick, five games in seven days, the last four of them on the road. Um, you know, because we can't play at home because they're getting ready for the all-star game. Plus, all the hotel rooms are taken, which would have been a nice thought about playing before the Super Bowl, too. But I guess it doesn't work both ways. So. Okay. Let's go.